has the gold become dim because the brother brought it out earlier. We are the gold. Right. We are right. the most high precious jewels. That's us. Right. How did we become dim? As a people, how did we become dim, family on the porch? How did we become so dim we used to shine so bright? I talked to you over there, right? So what you think about what you heard? What you think about what you heard now? Yeah, you're right. This is the truth. This is the truth. So so what I've noticed in the in the neighborhood, right, is that there's a curfew. They y'all can't even be out here past eleven o'clock. Do you know that's in the Bible? That y'all wouldn't even be able to do what where you want to do where you live? Give me Lamentations 417. No. Did you know that? That's in the Bible, bro. That's right. Get that? Read. Lamentations chapter 4, verse 17. Bro. As for us, our eyes as yet failed for our vain help. So our eyes yet fail for vain help. We look into another nation of people to help us. Why another nation of people is telling us we can't go outside. But we are asking them to come in our neighborhood and help us. Instead of turning around and saying, how do we help ourselves? Because we got the blueprint. We The Bible is already here for us anyway. God already gave it to us. So why are we trying to rewrite it? You know what I mean? We can't try to rewrite it. Read. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. They will not save us. These white, these other nations, so-called white men, because it's probably who own this, or East Indian men, probably who own this whole country. That's right. They are, they are not going to save us. You got you got the so-called white man can come in here with his bus called what was it, the heaven train or something? Yeah. Sitting down there, he ain't teaching nothing to our people in the community state just like this. That's right. This they, that's actually why it's like this. Right. Because we looking to a people that cannot save us. Right. Read. Verse 18. They hunt our steps. They hunt our steps. Like they shooting us down in the street right now. That's all right. over Columbia. That's and right. then what they doing, they come in here and shoot us down. Do we do anything? Nothing. We can't do nothing about it. They rule over us. They are hunting our steps. That's Read. right. That we cannot go in our street. That we can't what? We cannot go in our street. We That's can't right. go outside in our own neighborhood. We, this is where we at and we can't come outside unless they tell us to come outside. This prison. Right. That's right. This is prison. You, you know. might as well, you got bars. Those are bars to tell you you can't go outside unless they tell you to. That's jail. Right. But they tell you you're free. Right. But they tell you that you're free. So how did all this happen though? How did we fall like this though? Get limitations. Uh, I want 4 1. I think it's 4 1. Is it 4 1? Yeah. Read. Lamentations chapter 4 verse 1. Right. No. How is the gold become dim? How has the gold become dim? Because the brother brought it out earlier. We are the gold. Right. We are right. the most high precious jewels. That's us. Right. How did we become dim? As a people, how did we become dim family on the porch? How did we become so dim we used to shine so bright? Now we at the bottom. Read. How is the most fine gold changed? Uh -huh. The stones of the sanctuary are poured out in the top of every street. All people hang out at the top of the street selling dope to one another. That's how you become dim. You got baby, you got baby fathers, baby mothers. That's how you get dim. You shoot each other in the street. That's how you get dim. But our men, even the women, our own women don't respect us because we go lay down with them and then we leave. That's right. That's dim. They don't even look at us to stand up. That's why when we out here standing up, you got people walking around and it's strange to them that we are out here. Right. It's strange that we are actually standing up as men. Had wants us to say, I don't even know if I want to fly up. Because I've never seen this before. It's intimidating. It's intimidating for your own brothers to come to your neighborhood and tell you how to be better. That's oh, intimidating. Boy. That's crazy. That our people look at each other as intimidating. But you let the white man stand up down there at the bottom of the street with his heaven train bus. Bring it up. And you don't say nothing. You walk up to them and you're comfortable. But your own brother, we intimidate you. Oh, no. right. That's because our own people don't even look at us that way. Read. Verse 2. The precious sons of Zion. The precious, uh-huh. Comparable to fine gold. Who are we, com what are we compared to? Comparable to fine gold. Listen up, you so-called blacks and Spanish Native Americans. You are compared to fine gold to God. That's, That's right. right. That's what he just said. It's a precious jewel. Comparable to fine 
gold, but we lost our shine. Now we at the bottom, now we just rocks out here. Read. How are they esteemed as earthen pitchers? So now we earthen pitchers now. <laughs> now we just regular old pitchers now. You something you throw away. Read. The work of the hands of the potter. Uh huh. Even the sea monsters draw out of the breast. So this right here now is going into the women. The top part was about all of us. Now they said even the sea monsters draw to, unto the breast, right? They even feed their children. They make sure their children are nurtured. Read. They give suck to their young ones. Uh -huh. The daughter of my people is become cruel. So our mothers, our mothers kill our own babies. They'll go to, they'll go to the abortion clinic. They kill them before they even born, before they come out the womb, they already hate their child. Oh, that's right. And then because our men will go lay with them and then leave, they feel like they ain't got no option because we won't stand up to protect them. So that way, now our gold has become dim. Our women, their gold has become dim. It's more single mothers in this neighborhood than anything, right? Right. Right? And I bet half of them, they go get their hair done. They go get their nails done, yeah. go to the club, and then their children walk up, snot nose, shoes falling off, pants all over the place. That's right. They shirts falling apart, and they are sitting there like that's okay, and nobody corrects them. Yeah. That's how our, that is how our gold has become dim. Read. The daughter of my people has become cruel. Our mothers have become cruel. That's cruelty to think that's okay. That's cruelty not to teach your children that you are the chosen people of God. That's actually that's pretty cruel. Right. Because your kid walk around thinking they trash so they gonna grow up and act like trash. That's right. Your kids see you sleeping around with all the men, so then they go out here and sleep around with all the men. That's right. Right. Or your son see you sleeping with all the women, then they go out here and sleep with all the women. That's right. right. And then we sit up here and we wonder why we are stuck in this estate and we can't get out because God said our gold has become dim. Right. Read. Like the ostriches in the wilderness. Like the what? Like the ostriches in the wilderness. It says like the ostriches in the wilderness. Do you know what ostriches do? You know what they do? They actually plant their eggs and then they forget where they laid them and trample all over them where they died. <laughs> the Bible, God just compared the women of our people to an ostrich. Oh, right. A woman that do not care about her kids that will sit up there and pretty much kill her kids and won't think nothing about it. Just like an ostrich plant the egg. Is the egg hatched yet? No, but they'll plant it, then step on it. Is it dead now? So our mothers have a baby in their womb and then they go to the abortion clinic and they killed it. Same thing. Oh, that's right. Same thing. Read. Verse 4. The tongue of the sucking child cleaveth to the root of his mouth for Read. thirst. Read. The young children ask bread. And no man breaketh it unto them. So this says that our children are in need of nurturement. They need food and water. And we don't provide it for them because we want to be wicked. It ain't that we can't. It's because we won't come back to the laws of God to actually do so. That's, That's right. right. We are stuck in this as we do so. We sit up here, we break the laws, and then you wonder why I don't have enough to feed my own son. Oh, why can't I take care of my of my wife, not your baby mother, your wife? And then we stay right here. Had a brother walk by earlier and said, I'm going to die for this, pointing to his flag. I'm going to die for this. That's madness, bro. That's right. That's madness. So imagine, he probably got kids and they watching him, what they going to grow up to do? Same thing he doing. That's right. Same thing he doing. When he could actually break that and actually show them something better and something different. He walked around up here with his phone recording and said, I'm going to die for this. That's madness, man. That's madness. Give me your Deuteronomy 28, 28 and 65. 28 and 65. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 65. Read it went over and proved to you that we the Israelites, right? Read. And among these nations shalt thou find no ease. They say what? Among these nations shalt thou find no ease. Do you feel comfortable walking up and down the street among the nations of people? When the police roll through and pull you over, you get nervous? You damn right you get nervous. That's what the Bible said. You ain't going to have no ease. You can't go outside unless they tell you to. That's uncomfortable. That's actually pretty scary that you can't go outside. You might go to jail if you outside just in your own neighborhood walking to and fro. 
you might get locked up, police might do anything to you. But our people don't think, well, the answer is in the Bible. How do we stop that? How do we stop it? How do we stop it? You've been up here for a minute. I want to know how we stop it. Keep the commandments. Right. That's right. Keep the commandments. That's how you stop that. You see what I'm saying? Get, uh, get Deuteronomy 30. Is that it? You know that? Was that it on that? Read the rest of it. Neither shall the soul of thy foot have rest. So you're not going to have rest. You just went to work today. You ain't even supposed to be working today. But you are forced to work today just to be able to pay bills, just to have a roof over your head. That's right. That's slavery. That's jail. That's captivity. And then you go to, you went to work, got off work to go take a shower and then look at the clock and say it's not past 11 p.m. I can go out right now. But when it get 11 o'clock, I got to go in the house. You went to, to your job, bro, on the Sabbath day. That's, that's jail. You were forced to do so because you got to pay bills. And then when you get home, you can't even decide when you want to go in and come out that more. That's right. Three. Right. Right. But the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart and failing of eyes and sorrow of mind. So we, while we in this captivity, we got a failing heart. We got a sorrow of eyes. Our children are being destroyed. Our children are being shot. We are crying. We are crying out for somebody that will not save us instead of coming back to the Bible. Right. Hello. How you doing, family in the car? Pull over right there and come talk to us. This right here is the truth. But see, our people that ride by, and they won't come up here and talk to us. Lord willing, she read the flyer. But she, hey, why didn't she just stop right here? What we got to do today? Most of our people just sitting out on porch anyway. Oh, right. Why don't they come talk to us anyway? They'll go to church tomorrow to come back to be told that they can't go outside after 11. And they won't even find out why is it like that. Nobody asks, why is it like that? Right. You got Deuteronomy 30? Deuteronomy 30. Deuteronomy 30 and 1. I want 1. Deuteronomy chapter 30 verse 1. Bring it this is what's going to happen like you said. When we start keeping the commandments as a nation of people, this is what's going to happen. Read. And it shall come to pass uh -huh. when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse. So it said when all these things come upon us, the blessing and the curse. The blessing was when King Solomon and King David was in rule. We ruled the earth. That's right. Like the brother brought out earlier, we were the kings of the earth. That's right. That's, right. That's the blessing. But the curse is now we on the bottom. Now we done broke the commandments. Now we on the bottom. So, so like you said, we must keep the commandments, right? So it said that these things must come to pass, the blessings and the curse free. Which I have set before thee. God did this to us. So don't, don't be like, oh, this just came out the blue. No, God did this to us because you got kids. If they break your commandments or your laws in your house, you punish them, right? Uh, we right. are the sons and daughters of God. So if we break God's commandments, he punish us like children. Right. But we we don't think we don't think that highly of us as we think we at the bottom though. We don't need we think white people, so-called white people are God's chosen people, and that's not the case. We are. That's right. Read. And thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations. So we're gonna that's what we're doing now. Now we're calling them to mind among all the nations. We teach this all over the world. Right. We telling our people to wake up all over the world. We showing them that we are still in captivity, and the only way to get out is keep the commandment. That's we are right. recalling this among all the nations. We all over the world doing this. Read. Whither the Lord thy God hath driven thee. Because he sent us on slave ships to everywhere. Right? That's right. We all over the earth. He sent us to everywhere. Read. And shall return unto the Lord thy God. And shall obey his voice. So it said we're going to return unto the Lord. And obey his voice. That's keeping the commandments like you said. That's right. right. Read. According. To all that I command thee this day, uh -huh. thou and thy children. And who? Thou and thy children. Not just you. Our children going to be keeping the laws with us. Right. That's right. So we got to teach them for them to even be able to do it. And we got to show them. Right. We can't walk around and say, you're an Israelite, and don't show them what an Israelite is. Right. You can't walk around and say, I'm an Israelite, and still live like a nigga. That's not possible. That's right. They're right. not going to listen to you. But if you stand up and actually do what you're supposed to do, show them the example out of the Bible and live it yourself, your kid can't do nothing but follow you. Right. Because they're going to say, you know what? I'm proud of my father. I'm proud of my mother. That's right. And I'm going to be just like them because they look like Christ and I do too. 
street with all thine heart and with all thy soul. You're going to do that with everything you got. Get verse 7. Verse 7. Read. Verse 7. And the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thine enemy. He going to do what? Put all these curses upon thine enemy. We going to be on top and they going to be our slave. That's right. You ain't never heard that before in church, have you? Because they say everybody's going to be saved by God. Then when Christ come back, everybody going to heaven. But this right here says you're going to do what? Put all the curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee. Because we are a hated nation of people. Ain't That's right. right. Nobody who comes to your hood and teach you how to get to heaven. Who comes to your hood and tell you how to get out of this estate that you're in? How you doing, sis? Y'all should come talk to us. Y'all want to eat? Mm -hmm. So you know what I mean? So that's what we got to do with people riding by and that, see all praise that you stopped because you was like, you know what? What I'm seeing is something different. I want to go see what they're talking about. And like you told the last officer that was up here teaching, now you don't even want to go to church on Sunday. You shouldn't. Oh, oh, that's right. a sin if you go on Sunday. That's right. That's what you should do. You should go on the Sabbath day like they brought out. That's when we gather. When right. we leave here, we about to go be with our wives and kids. With our families. Right. Because we all trying to get to one place, the kingdom. We want God to do just this. Read that again. Verse 7. And the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thine enemies uh -huh. and on them that hate thee, Read. which persecuted thee. Don't they persecute us? How? How do they persecute us? I just want to make sure you've been paying attention. Make sure you're thinking, man. How do, how do the other nations persecute us? Don't they, don't they work, shoot for oh, one? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> they shoot you down the street. They shoot all of us down the street, right? Yeah. That, when, have you ever seen a Chinese person get shot down the street? But you see us though, you see the Chinese people beating our own, beating us, yeah. right? You see the East, the, the East Indians beating us, right? shooting us down. And then, and then everybody says we're all equal. If we're all equal, then why do you treat us like we're on the bottom if we're all equal? Hey, hey. Right. Because for them to say that you're equal and for you to accept that, that means you're really on the bottom because God already told you you're above them. Right. That's right. He already told you you're above them. Is that it? On oh, verse 7, verse 8. Read. Verse 8. And thou shalt return and obey the voice of the Lord uh -huh. and do all his commandments which I command thee this day. So so this says that you're going to do the commandments. That is how this thing is going to be switched over. So in order for you to get your house right, what do you have to do? Give me that. You got it. Right? Commandments. Commandments. Right? Huh? Commandments. You got to keep the commandments, but who? I mean, because you got kids, right? Uh -huh. When are they going to get in order? When Are you oh, married? Oh, are, you married? Oh, married. are you married? Are you married? You got a girlfriend? Uh -huh. you, you with your, the mother of your children? What, what's stopping you from one marrying them? One of my children. Okay, what's stopping you from marrying that woman? Why would don't keep doing it over and over again? Where has it gotten you so far? Nowhere. Nowhere. So what should you be doing since now you're with the mother of your child? Why don't you? What's stopping you from it? You was you was man enough to marry her, but you're not man. I mean, you're man enough to lay with her and have a baby, but you're not man enough to marry her. Really? You see what I'm saying? Really? Read. The book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 14, verse 13. Now therefore, set thine house in order. Do what? Set thine house in order. How do you set your house in order? Because right now your house is out of order. You got a man in the house and a woman in the house. They have a baby together, but they're not married. That's out of order. This tells you, this is a commandment. Did it say, might you may set your house in order or you can? Set your house in order, or it just says set your house in order. Read. Read it again. Now, therefore, set thine house in order. Read. I, I never went. I never touched this word. Read the first word. When should we set our house in order? Read. Now. When. Now. When. Now. 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 There's nothing stopping you to do it now. To set your house in order to make it right with that sister, because right now you're making her a whore. That's you're right. A whore monger, and your child is gonna be just like y'all. You want that to continue to happen? Don't you love your kids? So why not show them the example? 
why not be the living proof of what they should be? Right. Read on. Now, therefore set thine house in order. Read. And reprove thy people. And reprove thy people. Correct your people. That's what we all up here had to do. Because you ain't doing one. We all used to live like this. <laughs> we all did this. Oh, that's right. We did it for a long time. But the thing is, we was like, you know, we heard the Bible. We got our mind right. We set our house in order. Now we come out here to teach our people to do the same. Oh, that's, that's right. right. That's what the Bible's telling you to do. That's a commandment. That is a commandment. That's not an option for you. Or you're going to die here. Right. Read. Reprove thy people. Comfort such of them as be in trouble. So it said, comfort such of them as be in trouble. Ain't it comforting to know that the most high, that God and Christ look like you? Ain't that comforting? Ain't that comforting to know that they only chose you? Ain't that comfort? Don't you feel like you somebody now instead of feeling like, oh, I'm, I'm at the bottom, I'm nobody? That's comfort That's to know right. that God only chose you. Even, right. even though our people live in these conditions, God chose us why are we not destroyed right now? Lamentation, uh, Lamentation is 3.22. Why have he not just straight up killed us yet? Because see, we are at the lowest of the low. Our people ride them down the street and they think they're supposed to be where they at. We getting killed left and right, but then we wonder why as a people, why haven't we just been simply wiped off the face of the earth? Because in all honesty, we deserve it. But the most high God said he's mercy on us. You got mercy on us. Get it? Read. Lamentation chapter 3. Verse 22. Bring it on. It is of the Lord's mercy. It is of the what? It is of the Lord's mercy. It is of the Lord's mercy. Read. That we are not consumed. That we are not consumed. That we are not destroyed. That me and you are standing here talking. It is because of God's mercy. That's, That's right. right. So, are you, so you can't take God's mercy for granted. And then think that you're going to be able to continue to do what you're doing. And not going to be punished for it. Because now you know better. Hebrews 13 4. Hebrews 13 yeah. and 4. Yeah. Because, like you said, set your house in order. Oh, that's right. You got it? Read. Yeah. Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4. Yeah. You know, marriage is honorable in all. It said, marriage is honorable in all. Not boyfriend, girlfriend, not baby daddy, baby mama. Oh, marriage right. is honorable in all. So, so can you sit up there and be comfortable with just sleeping with your baby mother and that's it? No, you have to marry that woman. That's right. There's a judgment if you don't. Read. And the bed undefiled. And whatever you do with your, with your wife, that's all, that's all on y'all. As long as it's according to God's laws, you can't have no threesomes or nothing like that. You and your wife, y'all can do what you want to do. That's Read. right. But whoremongers. But whoremongers, people that will not marry people that got baby mamas and baby fathers. Read. And adulterers. Uh-huh. God will judge. How you think he gonna judge us? He said God is gonna judge us. How do you think he judges today? It happens all the time. I just want to know. How do you think our people get judged by God? You don't know? Deuteronomy 28, well, uh, 61. Let's get it. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 61. Uh -huh. Also, every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this law, uh -huh. Them will the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. Read it again. Also, every sickness and every plague. He said every sickness and every plague. Herpes, AIDS, syphilis, gonorrhea, blue waffle. And, and that, shoot, it's probably so many people walking around in this community right now. You got Benedict College, one of, it's an HBCU, and over 60 some percent of them got something. They sick. Oh, they are right. sick. Our people, as we are a sick nation of people, and we never look to the Bible and right. see that God did it because we won't keep the laws. Right. Read on. And also, every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this law. Because those things are not written in the Bible, is it? You can't read AIDS out of the Bible, but it said the sickness and plagues that are not written in the Bible. Oh, it's right. Read. Them will the Lord bring upon thee. They say God is going to bring them up on us. So people think, oh, I got it just because. <laughs> no. They say God did it. Read. Oh, that's right. Until thou be destroyed. Then people drop dead. Then all of a sudden you're getting stuff cut out of you and cut off of you. And you can't do nothing. That's destroyed. That's destruction. Right. 
all people are dropping dead from all these diseases. That's why you should marry. That's why you should marry. You're right. That's why you should be married. That's right. right. That's why you should marry. What's stop? What's stopping you from marrying them? You say he knew. You, you see how you see how sick that is. That's sickness. That, but that's sickness though. So it said marriage ain't gonna stop it. So why in the world, so you're gonna commit adultery now? When the Bible says don't commit adultery or I'm gonna judge you by making you sick and you're gonna drop dead. That's right. You see what I'm saying? So do you wanna continue to be like that? Like, so what, what you gotta do? What do you have to do? Marriage. Huh? Marriage. Yeah, you gotta marry her and do what? Because it ain't just marry her though. What do you have to do? Don't you gotta teach your wife, set your house in order, set your children in order? And then you gotta do that by the laws of God. By the laws of God. So what is your nationality again? What's your nationality again? What what people do you come from? Israel. What's your tribe? Say it with strong huh? You don't know. You you so called African American? So what's your tribe? No oh, man. Hurt my feelings. You said black. This right here. American black. What tribe? Judah. Judah. Right. It ain't gonna be, you know, Judah. You know, he ain't gonna say it here. I'm an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. No, I'm an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. That's, That's right. right. Who else came out of the tribe of Judah? Did they show you? Did anybody show you? So we they explain what Christ looked like, right? Right? So let's see what tribe Christ came out of. 714. Hebrews chapter 7 verse 14. Uh -huh. Bring it out. For it is evident uh -huh. that our Lord. Who's our Lord and Savior? Who? Jesus Christ, right? Read. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Sprang out of who? Sprang out of Judah. You have the same bloodline Christ got. Right. right. <laughs> Nobody ever told you you were related to Jesus Christ, did they? You just found out from the Israelites, your brothers, that you are related to Jesus Christ. That's right. right. That your history book is the Bible. Right. It's not a fairy tale book. Most of our people in this community are related to Jesus Christ. Right. 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 A direct bloodline. But our people don't even know it because they think they Gentiles and they think they just whoever somebody else told them they was. Right. Nobody ever went and read it. You know? But that's what that's that's what our people do. And that's what they really feel about themselves. But instead, they don't come back to the Bible to get that comfort of knowing, I'm a child of God. I'm a son and daughter of God. That's right. I got to come up out of state. I got to keep the laws and commandments because I don't want to continue to live like this. I don't want to die like this. That's right. Because if I die like this, then that's it for me. But then there's, a, there's always hope for our people, though. There's always hope for our people. Give me a 2 Corinthians 5, 17, I believe it is. Bring it up. So there's hope. There is hope for you because yeah, you realize it right now that most of your life you have shoot pretty much all of your life you haven't been doing what God wanted you to do. You have not been doing what He wanted you to do. But let's see what He said because now you know you're an Israelite. Now you know you gotta don't shave whatever beard you can grow. Don't get no more tattoos. Don't cut your head bald. Get fringes on your shirt. Keep the Sabbath day, not Sunday. Not Sunday. The Sabbath day, which is today. Okay. Congregate on today. But let's see, let's see, when you start doing those things, let's see what God says about us. Read. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. Uh -huh. Therefore, if any man be in Christ. If any man be in Christ, if you repent and come back to Christ. Read. He is a new creature. Wouldn't you like a second chance to get it right? Bring it up. That's what this is saying. Read it again from the top. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, you stop sinning and you start keeping the commandments. Read. He is a new creature. All things are passed so, away. So all the stuff you did back in your past is passed away. God don't see it. You get a new chance now. Right. Now you get a chance to keep the commandments. You get a right. chance for right. God to see you like he's supposed to see you instead of looking at you and saying, I do not hear him. Right. That's why we out here today. He's, he's calling to you now. He's out here today for you to come, congregate with us, learn your history, learn what you must do, teach your family and do it. Is that it? Read on. Behold, all things are become new. All things are become new when you repent. Everything you've done in your past is forgiven. And you get to have a second chance at getting it right. 
Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcast, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.